Greetings and salutations. Why are you like this? There, go over here. Anyway, it is Sunday, July 5th, and I'm going to be a little bit whiny today. Um, so, uh, for those of you that remember, I had a job interview <clears throat> a few weeks ago before I left on my trip to Alaska, and I thought it went really well, and I got the email on Friday that I did not get said job, which normally would be like, oh, okay, that's a bummer, but like every time I get interviewed, I get asked why there is a four-year gap on my work history where I really didn't do any traditional work. And for those of you who've been here a long time, you know that I have three basically invisible illnesses. I have chronic migraines, I have fibromyalgia, and I have chronic fatigue immune deficiency syndrome, which makes holding down a job kind of difficult at times, but I've got a handle on it. Like I have days where I'm in pain, but I can still work. I have days where I have migraines and then I can't work. I have days where I'm just completely and utterly exhausted, but I kind of power through it. <clears throat> and those days are pretty rare and usually I can make myself last until the weekend and the weekends I just kind of collapse. But every time someone asks me, I notice that you haven't had like work in the last five years. Why is that? And I have to explain, well, you know, I was sick, but I got better and I've been good now for a couple years but the problem is once I started looking for work people wanted to know why I hadn't worked for the past two years and I said well I was sick but I've, I'm better <coughs> excuse me but I'm better now and so I can't I'm ready to get back into the work field like oh well, you were just sick what if she gets sick again not gonna hire you and now that it's been so long it's like oh you haven't worked in so long you probably don't know what you're doing and so I I feel like I'm being punished for having been sick and it's really frustrating and like I don't like 100% need to find a job. Like it'd be nice to get out of the house and do something other than just, you know, sit at home all day. And we're doing okay, like money-wise, like things are tight, but we're not like going crazy into the red or anything, but it's frustrating and it's aggravating and it's kind of depressing that entry-level jobs, jobs where I have like a little bit of experience, granted a few years ago, but like I have experience doing data entry, I have experience doing troubleshooting, I have great customer service skills, I have great customer service experience, I can't find a job. And it's really frustrating. And it's like, they, they it's also really frustrating where they tell you something is entry-level but they want experience. And it's like, well, how am I supposed to get experience if every entry level job wants me to have experience? It's so frustrating. So I had a little bit of a sob party on Friday after I got that email. And then my husband was awesome and he hugged me a lot and he said, it's okay. And then I applied for 10 more jobs that evening. And then I had friends over and we played games and everything was better, but still, uh, employment industry, why are you so broken? Um, but yeah, so that's me whining. I don't do that very often on here and I'm sorry, but I needed to whine and vent a little bit. So, uh, yeah, I am looking for work. Anything entry level really, just to kind of get my foot in the door and to save up so I can go back to school. So like I said, I've applied for a bunch of places and oddly enough, I applied to this one place and I got an email like an hour later saying they wanted to book a time to call me about it. You can't just t make a phone call, you have to book a, like 15 minute block to call me yeah, okay why not so yeah that's the thing excuse me i just woke up and i'm they have tea you can you can see like the top of it like i have barely touched this at all hazelnut chai interesting okay so that is it for today um i'm gonna be doing some editing because i still have more dishonored stuff but we're gonna keep on our dishonored steam for the next little bit because i'm actually really enjoying it um, also, I started up Fallout 3, like just regular Fallout 3, because I tried, we tried New Vegas on here and I just wasn't a fan of it, but we tried, I'm trying Fallout 3 and I'm actually really liking it. Helps that I have this guy next to me giving me, whispering, and, well not really whispering, just telling me instructions so I like don't miss certain things and all that. So I'm going to keep on doing that and it's been a good time and yeah. So thank you for listening to me vent slash, vent slash wine slash whatever. And interesting it sucks but it's been an interesting ride these last few years so hopefully i can get some work and i promise i will not neglect you because you guys are awesome anyway that is it for today thank you so much for watching like and subscribe if you feel so inclined have a beautiful day